Well, hello everybody. This is Will Moore, your host again with Somewhere in America. And in today's episode, have you ever wondered um, that there's always not enough of just you? Stay tuned. Okay, so what I mean by there's not enough of just you in this episode, I'm actually, today, somewhere in America, I bring you to my kitchen, all right? So what I decided to do today as a, as a real kind of episode to kind of break up in the monotony of kind of going out and going somewhere, I decided to do a multiplicity, all right? And I've been wanting to do this for like a long time. So what I did is that, what I did is that I, I set up, I set up my, uh, my, my camera, I set up my camera here, um, uh, my, a, my Sony A6000, that's right, that's what I'm shooting with, guys, <laughs> okay, I always got to put a plug in for that because everybody's always uh, having this, uh, they're talking about this impending war, the mirrorless camera, well, listen, y'all, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not telling anybody to give up their, their, their Nikons or Canons, they're great cameras, I would use them still today. But, hey, these are the future. So you might want to just, you know, kind of just go and purchase one just to have it just in case. <laughs> okay. But anyway, so what I did is that I, I, I took and I set up um, my, my camera on a tripod, what I have here. Um, I, I did all my settings. One of the great things that I love about uh, the Sony Smart, um, I mean, the Sony um, cameras is that I have... Um, here, let me go ahead and let me, let me switch this over to another screen so you can go ahead and actually see what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about here is that, um, if I can focus it in, there you go. Sony has, a new, has an app on um, that you can download to um, your phone, which is called the Smart Remote Control app, that I can actually use with my cell phone, okay, or my smartphone. And so by doing utilizing that, I was able to go ahead and set up, um, this whole tripod is great because I can even take a do a, a self portrait of myself, which is really cool. And I did um, before, and I'll probably show this at the end of the pod. Um, maybe if I still have it at the end of the uh, podcast, or the, um, so that you can actually see what I did. And it comes out fantastic. All you do is set everything up on a tripod, make sure that everything is stationary, and what you want to do is that you don't want to touch anything in the area that you're going to be um, taking an image. Okay, so what I did is that I positioned myself um, in my pantry here. I positioned myself. I like act like I was going into the refrigerator, and I stood here um, act as and acting as if I was on my cell phone or checking some messages. So that made it easier because I was able to go ahead and take snap and take the picture utilizing my cell phone. So it was no big deal. And then I took another one um, standing right here. Um, just looking at myself as if I'm kind of telling myself, you know, you need to hurry up so we can get ready to go, whatever we get ready to do. And I took another one here, but I'm not going to utilize this one that I took right here by my cabinet because I was taking my medication. Got to take that medication. I'm not going to use that one because that one, that this image of myself would put me in the way of this image right here. And you really wouldn't see it. So I, I wanted to make sure that you could see each and every one of myself individually. So. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to take all those images into Photoshop and I'm going to show you exactly how um, I process this. Uh, let me make sure I get into the light here because I got it pretty dark in my, um, you know what, this is my kitchen. Let me turn the light on. Turn the light on right here. There you go. I'm going to make sure that I process, um, show you how to process all these images and how you actually do this, do a multiplicity. It's really cool. If you got Photoshop, any Photoshop will work. And it's like a real, real easy process. So I'm going to go ahead and process all these images right now in my studio. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So here we're in the studio. 
and let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial but before I do I just want to let everybody know that everybody that for listen I celebrate actually I'm Messianic so I celebrate Hanukkah but I know that I have a lot of friends out there that celebrate Christmas and this is the Christmas season it's the Christmas holiday and so what I'm doing as a gift to all of my subscribers those that have already subscribed and even those that are going to subscribe okay if you if okay well, like I said, those are going to subscribe. Look at it, boy. I'm, I'm just speaking it in the future. But I was going to say, for all of those that have subscribed and all of those that do subscribe before Christmas, before the 25th of December, I will give you all the raw files to this particular tutorial and episode and where you can go ahead and follow along and maybe do something like this. Even uh, maybe do this around the Christmas holiday when all your family go come and do multiplicity pictures of them and just wow your family and dazzle them and they'll think you're the greatest and they'll say you're just an awesome photographer. So anyway, so let's get right on into the tutorial. What I want to do first of all, I've already taken all my images. As you know, I was on a tripod. Um, as far as the settings are concerned, it all depends on whether you're inside or outside. Me, I had my ISO probably up to about 250, 300, maybe 350. Um, I had my um, f-stop at about f point, maybe 3.5. And, um, you know, um, what else? My white balance, I had it more towards the, kind of in the middle between the cool and the and the warm side so those settings those you can play around with that 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 just generally that it all depends on what your taste is when you get ready to go ahead and set it up but the main thing is that you must be on a tripod and it must be stationary okay so let's go ahead and go to file I'm gonna bring all of my images in that I took and I'm gonna go to scripts and I'm gonna go to load files in stack so I'm gonna browse here this load this window will show up and I'll go to desktop and I got them all in a folder here so let me go down to multiplicity of will and I'm going to load the JPEGs okay I'm not gonna do the first one I'm gonna do heck let me see so let's go ahead and I'm gonna click this one and this one and let me see this one I believe and this one so let's go ahead and load those in and I'm gonna click OK and it's going to go ahead and start loading in all of my images as you can see that's the first one it's coming in second one's coming in third one's coming in and the fourth has come in so let me see i got i got myself standing here i got myself standing let me see let's i got myself standing there and i think i want to get rid of this one because remember i told you that this one this one right here would probably would be in the way of this one right here okay so I'm gonna go ahead and let me see uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of let me see okay I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one so we don't need that okay and I didn't do auto align but let me go ahead and I'm, uh, I'm gonna hold down shift and I'm gonna go up to edit and I'm gonna do auto align layers is auto even though I was on a tripod, I like the security of making sure that my layers have been aligned. So I'm going to go ahead and align these and um, I'm just going to do a little thinking. So I'll go ahead and just let it, um, I'll go ahead and, and pause while it's, while it's going ahead and do its process. All right, so we've already loaded our images and they're all aligned and so we are ready to go. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to add a layer mask to each one of these images alrighty okay there's a layer mask on all one of those alright so what I'm gonna do with the first image what I wanna do with the first image right here is that now this is gonna be real weird what would you see me do but it it it, it there's a, there's a reason for it and there's a there's a method to my madness so then that's the reason why I added all the layer mask so what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure that the foreground color is, I'm going to toggle X. X is on your keyboard. That right there will change your foreground color and your background color from black to white, black to white. We know that black, I think uh, black um, conceals and or 
reveals one of those. I, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't. It, we'll find out, but it needs to be black, okay? Because <laughs> what I'm getting ready to do is then I'm gonna hit Beaver Brush, and I'm gonna make sure I got a good hard brush. Um, I want a good hard brush. Don't want a soft brush. And make sure it's hardness. Make sure my opacity is at 100. My flow is at 100, and I am good to go. So what I want to start doing right now is that I'm going to very, very carefully, because remember, the refrigerated door over here is open, okay? So I got to make sure that I'm very, very careful about um, erasing over here. So I'm going to erase this guy. Oh, look at that. Wow. And that wheel just goes bye-bye. He goes bye-bye. He goes bye-bye. And I'm not going to erase too much of him because there is a shadow there. And we need that shadow. And I need this. Well, I'll do this because I do need that shadow. And let's go ahead and erase him here. And very, very carefully erase him right about here. Okay. And then I'm going to go up here to the brush again. Now I do want a soft brush because this area is right here where they're little hard lines I want to go ahead and make these a little softer there we go okay and we don't want the ghost of wheel still there alright so now he is gone alright now that wheel is gone he's disappeared there's no more wheel in the picture this is also a technique you can use when you're trying to get rid of something in an image what you do is that you take uh, you'll take an image of um, just take two images and you can get rid of it. Well, there's, it's another lesson. We'll deal with that at another time, but let's deal with the multiplicity. <laughs> okay. So let's go with this mask right here. Now I've gotten rid of Will, but I don't want to get rid of him totally. So what I need to do is that I'm going to bring him back. But watch this. Watch the magic when I bring him back. I used to work for Disney, guys, so we was always have to make the magic. I'm going to on my keyboard. I'm going to do control I. Wow. Bam. Look who just showed up. Okay. So now we got the wheel over here that has just showed up. All right. So now I'm going to go down to this layer where this wheel is. See, that's the wheel that's there. All right. And I'm going to repeat the same process making sure that my foreground color is black. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start erasing. Oh, sorry, wrong answer, wrong answer. I'm going to edit, undo. And I'll make sure that, um, okay, make sure I'm on here, make sure I'm on that. And I'm going to go ahead and let me see, toggle X, uh, let's toggle black. And I'm going to start. Dis this guy is going to disappear. Now, if you notice something that when he disappears, see the door closes. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's always kind of funny. But let's be very careful. Okay. Now, he's disappearing. But there's somebody else that's reappearing. And the person that's reappearing is the image that is actually at the refrigerator was no big deal no big deal all right and let's go ahead and do that with the shadows okay now I'm going to repeat the same process control i and bam that wheel is now back but now I need to jump down to the wheel that is bending down at the refrigerator. And even though you see a part of him there, we're going to go ahead and he needs to disappear as well. Okay. And he's disappeared. And look at that. The refrigerator is now closed okay and what we're going to do again control I 
bam he is there that wheel is there and also the other wheel showed up now I need to bring this wheel back over here and I need to bring this wheels foot back in here so the best way to do that is you got to go to the layer that's actually above it and I'm gonna toggle control I mean I'm gonna try, I'm toggle X so that I can go ahead and um, oh, I'm sorry I'm gonna toggle and back to black and I'm gonna go ahead and bring in this wheel right here actually you know what let's do this let's do this this wheel I'm gonna bring him up like this just above so that I can go ahead and toggle X and then bring him in there we go that wheels right there and let's go ahead and bring in that wheels refrigerated door very very carefully come around right here okay and I'm gonna have to go on this wheel here I believe and let me see uh, make sure nope let's do this and make sure that we bring in all of the door. There we go. And there is all of the door right there. Wow. There's our other wheel. Now let's go to the wheel that's standing up right here. We still own that one. And let's toggle X again. And um, let me. No, let me get a harder well let me keep with this soft brush but just come very very carefully to the edge there we go okay and toggle that again and let me see I want this brush to be a little harder and let me take it down a little bit and make sure there we go Okay, let's do X again. And make sure that wheel's arm is in there. I want it looking all crazy. And it is a shadow there. So. And let's do X here. And I'm just messing around because, I mean, really, honestly, I mean, this is just a tutorial because you really have to, you really have to work it out to where you can get it just the way you want to get it. And let's bring my arm back in. Okay. Well, hey, no, no biggie, no biggie. Okay. So now let's go over here to where the wheel is over here. And we'll have to go back down to this layer in order to bring this wheel over here. So we'll make sure that it is um, not white, but black. And let's go ahead and bring him in. And let's go ahead and while we're still on that layer, let's toggle X and let's bring most of this wheel back. Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of this guy. Honestly, because I don't, you know, he's not there. He's, he's, he's not, I don't want to, I don't want to fool with him. Let's get rid of him. Yes. And let's go ahead and get rid of him. All right. Let's leave it like that. All right. And then let's go back up to this particular layer here. And there we go. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. That works out better. Remember when I told you guys about the other image that I took out because the that was in front of him because it, a lot of times it gets real wiggy and you have to do a whole lot of whole lot of tricky work so I don't want to have to do all of that all right so now let's go down to our third image here and we'll actually go up to the first one and let's go ahead and do this 
alright and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit X because I want to bring him back and that's the shadows there and let me get a softer brush real quick and there we go don't want that to look so stupid okay wow voila and that is our okay well not yet let's go ahead and let's flatten that there we go and that is our final image of our multiplicity these are days when you say it, when you always say, I wish I had about five, three, four, five of me to do this one job. You know how it is when you're on your work, on your job. <laughs> you just wish that you had about four or five people that was just like you. And you say, because I know exactly what the way I want it done. And if it was more of me, I could get it done. Well, guess what? You can't necessarily multiply yourself physically, but you can do it in Photoshop. So I hope you all enjoyed that lesson. So uh, back to me and um, remember the gift that I'm actually offering you guys, the raw files to do this. You can just, if you subscribe, if you've already subscribed, you can get them. If you haven't subscribed, when you subscribe, you'll get them. So go ahead and get them for free. Uh, happy holidays and Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> back to me. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed that um, segment of Somewhere in America. Join me for next week's episode. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to be taking off a week, so we probably won't get an episode. May you know what? Maybe we will because New Year's is coming up, and I know that Christmas is coming up this week. And I know that everybody's getting ready and getting excited about the Christmas holiday and, and, um, and getting all the festivities together. So um, I want to wish everybody a happy holiday. Um, be blessed, be safe, be safe, have a happy new year. Um, I want everybody to be, to just enjoy yourself, enjoy the family. Don't do nothing I wouldn't do. In fact, do what I would do. Be in somebody's church praying the new year in. <laughs> so anyway, God bless. As I always say it, I've said it for the past 12 months, all this year of 2015. If you can't say anything nice, stick a shoe in your mouth. And you know what? Keep it moving. God bless. Enjoy.